Let's make the Azura Blue Sapphire Martini. Let's get our three ingredients ready. Let's start by measuring one part blue curacao and then setting it aside. We'll repeat this process by measuring one part dry vermouth and then setting it aside. Now for our final ingredient, the star of the show if you will, start off by pouring four parts gin. I have used blue gin here for that extra blue feel, but feel free to use any gin you like. Now let's get assembling our drink. Start off by adding ice to a shaker. Make sure it's not too densely packed for later. Now let's add our ingredients. You can add them in any order you'd like. I added it in vermouth, blue curacao, gin. With our ingredients added, let's move on to stirring. Make sure to stir till your drink is thoroughly cold. Once you think your drink is cold enough, you can stop stirring. Once your drink is cold enough, you can carefully strain into a martini glass and garnish with a maraschino cherry. And there you have it, enjoy.